What is going on guys? 223 Frank the Tank here and I'm gonna be showing you guys some basic seed aka suppression of enemy air defenses in VTOL VR so that's how to use the radiation missiles and potential other ways to do seed so the basic reason for seed is so that you can get rid of radar sites which are a threat because they control the SAM sites which will fire anti-air missiles at you and you obviously don't want that so let me detach these weapons here these smart clusters which I can make a video on another time so the basics of seed what you what you will need are harms aka anti-radiation missiles so that should be AGM 88s yep so the AGM 88 arm harm anti-radiation missile we call them harms in DCS that's what the the 18s carry uh, the Harriers all of those planes the wild weasels so we're gonna grab these we're gonna grab a few because I believe this testing map has four radar sites so we'll grab we'll grab you know six just in case that one of them misses but I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to use the radar anti-radar interface and maybe we'll do some GBU 12s as well just for fun to take out the physical SAM sites so we got our GBU 12s we got our targeting pod what can we put here <laughs> got cruise missiles we got some GPS guided bombs we got some dumb bombs we're just gonna leave it empty we'll just grab some air to air missiles for self-defense even though there's no hostiles here we got the aim 120s for long-range radar there we go that's our loadout and uh, let's go find some let's go find some uh, <laughs> radar sites to shoot down so here we go, we're ready to go. I love this part. So we should already be in the air. Turn on RWR info. We're gonna go to our anti radar attack display and then equipment, arm it. There we go. Turn this other part off. There's our harness. So there we go. We already have a fire queue for this. Now obviously you're gonna wanna you basically want to fire these off and that and you know bust her out you definitely want, don't want to stick around or get close to them but for purposes of just showing you guys that it hits I will just follow it in Boom, you see that, that plume of smoke right there? And then we got a second one. The plane can't really tell exactly which ones are which due to the fact that they're grouped very closely together. So you just have to kind of take them out one by one. And there we go, the first one is down. Missile track, very good. And the second one should be blowing up shortly. Boom, just like that. So we got all SAM sites eliminated or all, all radar sites eliminated but we still do have some ground targets to just uh, be on this mountain range here I'm, I'm actually not even sure what I'm locking currently <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave it so there's our actual SAMs down here don't want to leave those nilly nilly like that 
want to take those out. So what we'll do is we're going to get into high altitude orbit above this mountain range up here. Around this volcano, I should say. Power to our Tarkin pod. Oh, would you look at that? We still do have... We still do have a target right here to take out with our horns. So let's take out that last sight. There we go, missiles away. Now obviously you'd be doing this from a lot further away. You wouldn't be doing it from this close, but I'm just showing you guys how to lock onto it. How to find those targets and how to just go about shooting them. And there we go. We no longer have a threat of uh, of radar lock by a SAM site because now the actual anti-air beta of the SAM site is no longer active because it can't lock onto you. So that's that just fly a little bit higher it's really tough to gain altitude in this game without just going full burners I guess especially because of how heavy I am right now but we're just gonna do that let's see how much fuel we got plenty of fuel to do that so no worries let's get higher switch to our GBU 12s in the selection Should be good. Level out. Wow, even at almost 20,000 feet, you're still barely above that mountain. It's pretty tall. So let's get some oxygen hold. Is there a sense of interest? We're gonna work it down now towards the mountain area. Been a blind spot right now, so let's move. There we go. Let's get back on here. Zoom in on this sucker. There we go. You can really see some targets, and that's our actual sands. So there we go. Let's go in for the first drop. bombs away turn back this way to keep the pod to keep giving the pod a you know sight on target I should hit any second now give it a couple seconds usually it's about 20 seconds for a target to hit, to get hit from this altitude boom down on to the next one so we're gonna give it some we're gonna we're gonna space ourselves and fly out this way, and then come back. It sh it should have saved the target. Maybe it didn't. We might have to look for it again. Yeah, I believe we do have to look for it again. So altitude hold working pretty nicely. Not perfect, but that was a pretty good job. Okay, maybe this, uh, maybe it does, uh, remember, let's turn on her. There we go, yep, it does remember. Okay, so we actually took out two of them with one, with one bomb. So that's perfect, that, that made our job of doing seed much, much easier. There we go. Coming back in on target now. Got drop Q, drop the bomb. I'm gonna slow myself down. Try and keep it within sight. <laughs> we dropped from pretty far away this time, so it might take a little longer to reach. But more or less, it's the same thing.
any second now. See the shadow? Destroyed. Alright, so that's basically seed. Obviously, it's going to be a lot more complex and diverse while you're in a real mission. Just because. Just because uh, it's not so simple and laid out and shown for you, but I am showing you how to employ the weapons rather than use them in combat. So I hope that you guys learned some stuff from this video and uh, if there's anything else you'd like me to do let me know and I will make it. Right now I'm just <laughs> mouthing off and trying to shoot these guys. So if you enjoy the content on this channel, if you enjoy the way I give little tutorials, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Really, um, I'm just in in uh, in shock that <laughs> that I'm at over a hundred. So thank you guys very much for subscribing and supporting the channel. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. And peace out.